Colin Kaepernick is GQ Citizen of the Year. Plus, a tractor trailer nearly hits a child crossing the street in Norway. And Stovetop creates gut-friendly Thanksgiving dinner pans. Tonight at 9 on ABC, catch an all-new episode of Blackish as Ruby accidentally reveals to the kids that she's been to jail. From Maine and Gervais, I'm Kimberly Davis. Here are your trending headlines for Tuesday, November 14th. GQ Magazine named its Men of the Year Monday morning. On the cover is former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. The magazine named him Citizen of the Year. The editors wrote that his act of kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice and police brutality earned him the honor. Kaepernick recently filed a grievance against NFL owners, accusing them of colluding to keep him out of the league in retaliation for his outspoken views. Some terrifying moments for children just getting off a bus. It happened on a busy roadway in Norway. It's hard to believe no one was actually hurt in this incident. You can see a group of children coming off the bus. Some scurry quickly across the road just as a huge semi truck approaches. The kids scattered. Thankfully, the truck driver was able to slam on his brakes just in time. The incident happened in June and the video was just released. Thanksgiving just got a little easier for those of us that like to go back for seconds and even thirds and fourths. Stovetop Stuffing has designed these fashionable unisex pants with an elastic waistband. An image of the stuffing is placed high and it fits right over your belly. Stovetop says it wants to allow people to quote enjoy more of Thanksgiving in comfort and style. The pants will set you back about 20 bucks while supplies last. OK, so the pants may not be so flattering, but they are for a good cause. Stovetop is donating $10,000 of the proceeds to the Feeding America charity. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. Have a great Tuesday and thanks for watching. That was an awful casual mention of you going to jail and stabbing Sheila, Grandma. Huh? Oh, no, baby. Grandma never went to jail. I think you might be lying because I just heard you say you went to jail. <laughs> you heard that? Come on, Grandma. I can handle the truth. I shave twice a month now. All right, fine. Many years ago, I blew up Earl's boat. Bad. <laughs> I was charged with some aquatic crime, got thrown into some local maritime jail, and shared a cell with a sicko who got off on torturing dolphins. Can you imagine the angels of the sea? Wow, I can't believe that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing your secret with me. <laughs> An experience like that must have changed you. No, not learning lessons is kind of my thing.